Here's this week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary. The story is that on Kilauea, earthquakes have come down a little bit since they were high last week. Here is this past week, a little bit lower than a previous high about a week ago, where it had been climbing up for the previous two weeks before that. However, the volcano is still swelling. We'll get to that here in a second. Here's a pattern of the earthquakes over the last week under Kilauea, mostly underneath the summit. Right in there. Filling that caldera area in a little bit in that upper southwest rift connector. And to the northwest is an area that we know activates when the volcano is swelling in the ground as well. And that's the pattern over the last week. If we look at the chart over the last year, we have earthquakes per week here on the left. And this is uh, the last year on the bottom here. So zooming in to the, to the right end of the graph here, the last two weeks, we actually had over 600 and over 800 earthquakes in each of those weeks. This week we're on track, so it looks like we'll finish with, with uh, over 400 earthquakes this week. Still elevated over the previous values we had prior to this ramp up, but definitely down from the last couple of weeks here. Looking at the swelling of the volcano, you can see that in the ground tilt. Here's the last month of ground tilt. You can see the pattern has been generally of, of, of uh, steadily upwards. There's a little bit of this deflation inflation cycles or these other kind of features on here. But the overall pattern, since about the 10th it looks like, has been this, this, uh, this steady upwards. And it was actually during this little extra, extra surge right in there that we had all those earthquakes popping up. And that's that time that corresponds right there. Looking at the whole last year in GPS, this is, this is the Kilauea caldera north to south. So the line is going upwards. That means that the sides are getting further apart. That means magma is coming in from below, trying to push upwards, spreading out the whole structure and causing the sides to swell apart. And it's not just uh, moving sideways, it's moving upwards as well. I'll show that here in a second. But just to note that this is happening all in the summit area and not going over to the rift. So here's a map uh, using Google Earth of the summit area superimposed with the GPS plots from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. And if I zoom it in here, it's hard to see exactly, but uh, these are three component graphs. This is north, south, east, west, and up, down. So you focus on this bottom one, you can see here at this, at this right end of it, it's going upwards. So that's going upwards. The Rana Caldera over here is going upwards. Just south of the Caldera is going upwards. If I zoom it back out again, it's really these stations that are up in here, and maybe this one, that seem to be going upwards. That's the summit area that's showing that adjustment of land. Over here in the East Rift, everything is still going downwards, right, right there. I'm going to zoom that in for you guys. I can't see very clearly, but it's, it's going down there. And the ground is actually dropping. And so what's happening is that this piece of land in between a summit, right there in the rift zones, seems to be adjusting. And that might be making extra room for the magma to relieve its pressure. So sort of creating more room underground, but magma is still coming in, still pressurizing. It's just not causing earthquakes like it was the last week. Still, the outlook is that at some point, sooner or later, it seems inevitable that there will be a resumption of eruption, a new eruption, or some intrusion, something that happens underground without coming to the surface. Something like that might be in the books still in the next couple of weeks for us. Uh, we'll have to wait and see exactly what Kilauea does, of course. So that is the short update on Kilauea. On Mauna Loa, there is not much new there. Our small flurry of earthquakes last week that got up to 16 earthquakes in one day there, not huge amounts, uh, has calmed back down. So it's really very quiet on Mauna Loa. And here is that little bump over the last year earthquakes per week compared to that right before the eruption time and then a build up to the eruption. You see this big, big clump of earthquakes over here. That's it for the Hawaiian Volcano Summary this week.